Hey guys, I'm Channing B. Nash and I have a treat for you. This is a special edition of Inside YLC. As you all can see, <laughs> I have the visionary, the host, the creator of the Young Leader Conference, yes, Mark Moore Jr. I am How honored. are you today? I'm honored. I'm doing great. I'm sitting with you, so I'm, I'm doing real well. Your doing flattery. Real well. Flattery will get you everything. Well, I, hope, on, I hope it gets some folks registered. I hope let's, so let's too. Let's do that. Listen. Let's do that. You listening? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, so listen. I am so excited about this year's conference. Yes, ma'am. YLC is so diverse. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are drawn to the conference because it's like six conferences in one. You just right. get so many different things in sure. one place. Sure. I love that about this conference. Sure. Talk to me about the entrepreneur track. Okay. Let's start there. That's definitely one of my favorites. It's tied. It's, it's like a six-way tie, but uh, it's How one of my favorites. So you, you, <laughs> you'll, get it, you'll get it on the way home. <laughs> Uh, but the entrepreneur's track really is essential uh, in that it really represents a lot of growth for our mm -hmm. conference. If I can be honest with you, okay. my mindset is this. If you have more than one skill, you should get more than one check. Can I get a witness in the building? Amen. Uh, so we really, in my opinion, have not always done a good job of, especially people of faith, positioning them to realize that they can have success in ministry and in the marketplace. Sometimes it's almost as if we demonize people for wanting or daring or pursuing to be successful or step outside mm -hmm. on the confines of a particular box. So we really wanna to bring together these 5,000 leaders. And yes, let me be clear, we're gonna shout, we're gonna rejoice, we're gonna praise right, God, right, the power right. of God's gonna fall. Huh. But when you felt it, there I it felt is. It. Hey. But, when, <laughs> but when you get up off the floor and they take the sheet up off you, right. you're gonna to go to class the next morning, you're gonna mm -hmm. learn insights and strategies that are gonna take your business to another level, your money's gonna get better, uh, your team building, your, your entrepreneurial mindset is going to shift because we want to give you that kind of information. Why is it so important for entrepreneurs to go to class though? I mean there are so many people who are self-proclaimed entrepreneurs. Why self is it self-proclaimed? Self-proclaimed. Right. Yes. Why is it so important that they sit under good teaching? Well, because I think that that experience matters. Mm. I think that training matters. The, the beautiful thing about social media, and I think you'll agree, mm -hmm. is that it allows everyone to be anything. Right. You have access, you can, you can learn new things and meet new people. But the worst thing about social media is that it allows everybody to be anything. To be anything. I can be an expert with no experience. None. I can be a doctor with no degree. I can be anointed with no oil, right? Mm. Just give me the light, give me the camera, and I can be as deep Listen. as I want to be. So put on I that voice that, that you just the, put the, on. The, the, your heart is <laughs> snuck out. I'm sorry. I try to tuck it in every now and then and snuck out. But, you know, I think that our entrepreneurs... They need to have real training. It's it's so much harder than it has to be when you're trying mm -hmm. to figure stuff out on your own. When there are people that have already gone down that path, have already made it happen, yeah, yeah. that can share with you tips and tools for the journey. So who are some of the people who have already oh made it God. happen that you're bringing in for this conference? Oh my goodness, for the entrepreneurs, we're bringing in Pastor Keon Henderson. We're bringing in uh, Mr. Donnie Hawk. He's the CEO of AE Productions. Right, uh, right. That's the major production company that we use every year, an amazing partnership. We're bringing in just some amazing people. Mark Jeffrey is going to be there. It's going to be a really, really great lineup. Mark. Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is crazy. Kevin Stage is going to be an entrepreneur's track. You know, this is crazy. It, it, I'm trying to tell you. That's why you need to register. That's I'm registered. What you mean? That's why they need to tell them oh, right now. Tell y'all need to register. Uh, okay. All of y'all. Every this ain't entrepreneur even my that's shot, watching. But I'm telling you to all of y'all need to register. So it's going to be a great time. You want to have my seat because you're, nah, you're, you're good at this. You're good at this. I watch your show a lot. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of this whole Wild CTV thing. I don't know who's in charge of this, but this is an incredible. I hope you subscribe as well. It's a red button somewhere on the screen right now, Boop. but you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> that was creative. I no, like no, that. Okay. Speaking of creatives, yes. that, you know, that's another track. How did you know that I was going there? It's almost like I wrote the script. <laughs> I have no idea. It's like we practiced this or something. It's, it's just the anointing is flowing. But this I don't know. is off the dome. Okay, Absolutely. since you brought it up, <laughs> let's talk about the creatives track. Yeah. Tell me your heart behind the creatives um, track. Where, where would the church, where would business, um, where would where would we be period mm -hmm. without the contribution of creatives? Mm -hmm. uh, my friend, uh, the brother, Apostle Brian Meadows, he's one of our speakers as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. He said something that really stuck out to me. He said that most people say I'm not creative, 
But what they really mean is I'm not artistic. Mm -hmm. And they're not the same thing. I believe and I subscribe to the theory that everybody is creative okay. in some capacity. The ability, how can you say, say that you're saved and you serve the ultimate creator right, right. and his spirit dwells within and you don't have a creative side of you? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. And so when we talk about creatives at Lousy, we're talking about the, the track that serves musicians, artists, poets, dancers, uh, writers, a wide range of people that have gifts and talents in their hand that they need to be cultivated and need to have developed. So our creative track is necessary because that's what brings the artist out. And when you look at a, a lineup or a convention center filled with 5,000 people, mm -hmm. You don't want 5,000 of the same people. You don't. I love preachers, Channing. I do. I'm a preacher. I, I've come from a, a long line of preachers. But 5,000 of them. Well, thank you very kind. <laughs> 5,000 of them would get on my nerves, though. I can only Absolutely. take so much doc, all right? Yeah. I, can only, I can only take so much, Preach right? Preach doc. Uh, right, exactly. <laughs> I, love, I, love, I love singles, but God knows 5,000 of them is a bit much. So I think that we need the creative side to bring in, and that's what really makes the whole conference experience so unique. The fact that I can be walking down a hallway, sitting in a session, and the person next to me is different from me. They're from a different place. We have people coming from 42, I think right now 42, 43 states are registered, 20 something you have countries. Internet? 20 something countries around. Are the world. you serious? Everywhere from Nigeria, Botswana, South Africa, the Fiji Islands, Canada, the Bahamas, Brazil, people are coming from everywhere and so so what role did creativity play in branching out to all of these different places well you know creativity and getting the 5,000 and reaching them from different places creativity factored in because we had to think outside of our norm okay mm, here I am okay. I'm 31 I live in Atlanta mm -hmm. right Atlanta has a vibe Atlanta has a certain energy Atlanta has a certain progressiveness for the culture right. but everybody's not from Atlanta right so we had to try to put ourselves in position to think like people from other places. So we had to do stuff like, I don't know, create a YouTube channel and name it YLC TV. Did Subscribe. you catch that? Did you see what I did? Did, did they catch it? I think stuff, create, if not, they'll stuff catch like, it on the way home. Creative stuff like shows like Inside YLC. Hello. That's two. Did you get it? So, you know, just <laughs> thinking of stuff to reach people where they are and let them know that there is a conference where they're, they're welcome, their gifts, their brilliance, their skills, are accepted and we want to be, make each other better. What would you say to creatives in the church who feel like they're not seen, who feel like mm -hmm. they're not heard, who feel like they're, they have no value within the walls of the church? What would you say to them? I would say to them that the best thing they can do is take that feeling mm -hmm. and bring it to the Lord. That's mm -hmm. number one. We're not right. going to dismiss that. Right. But the next thing they have to do after they take it to God is to make up their mind that I'm going to find somebody else mm -hmm. that's in the position I'm in, someone else that's been where I've been, because I am not the only one that's right. feeling like I feel. Right. I'm not the only one that God has anointed and chosen for such a time as this. And there's safety, there's strength in numbers. And I have to find the people that God has put on this earth, much like me. I'm, uh, I, I'm Mary in this context, but I need an Elizabeth. Yeah. I'm Elizabeth, but I gotta find the Mary that has something in them that matches what God put in me. And when we get together, our babies are gonna leap. So who are some of the people, the speakers that you have coming in to help you with oh this track? Oh my goodness, the, the, the creative track is gonna be incredible. We have everybody from the legendary Fred Hammond. He's gonna be there. I could stop there, couldn't I? Woo! Right? Huh? I just, mean, my childhood. When I the just... the soundtrack of your life, pages of life. Come on! What? Okay, I'm gonna I'm get off of it. I'm gonna get off of it. <laughs> who else? Who else? Oh my Come goodness, on. he's gonna so be good. there. Uh, my, everybody's coming. I mean, Fred Hammond. I, I, I'm still stuck on. I'm hearing blessed in my head. Hey, so I can't even everybody, think of say. Come on, here it is. <laughs> He's going to be, the, it's going to be okay. an amazing group. Willie Moore Jr. from the Willie Moore radio show is going to be there. It's going to be some of everybody coming, and it's going to be uh, an amazing, like Warren Campbell is going to be there. Oh, I love right? him. My Absolutely rock entertainer. Love him. So it, the, the lineup is crazy. Okay. Every track is going to be incredible, and you really, really owe it to yourself. In fact, you owe it to your destiny. You owe it to your customers. You owe it to your See. children, your future, your legacy. See. You owe it to the gift God put in you to put that gift in the right environment that's going to cultivate that thing and let it spring forth. What would you say to the people to, to make them register for YLC this year? I, I would say that their hesitancy in registering, their 
indecisiveness, mm -hmm. if they're not careful, they run the risk of missing out on the very thing they've been praying for. Oftentimes we're guilty of saying, God, if I just had somebody, mm -hmm. if I just had someone that would teach me or show me, if I just had a place to go where I could be cultivated and developed, we sometimes fall in love with the what if narrative that we fail to realize that God has given us an opportunity to connect with the thing we say we want. So if you wanna learn from credible voices, come. If you wanna be in an environment with other hungry, like-minded, on-fire people from around the world, come. Um. If you wanna have not only the spiritual side of you magnified and developed, but also that natural side, come. That's mm -hmm. what I would say. Will there be one? Listen. <laughs> doors of the church are open. The doors Look. of the church are open. <laughs> Head to exploreylc.com to make sure you do not miss out on what is going to be the conference of the year. We want to see you in August. See you then. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah.